So have you heard the news? Now what? Mrs. McBain ran off with Star's little bastard brother. No way. Hmm. Poor Mrs. McBain. And I have even bigger news. Hey, dude, have you seen Star? No. I'm kind of worried about her. I don't know how she's handling the whole deal with her dad's kid. And I was there last night when she was waiting for them to come home, and she was really happy. Yeah. Oh, hey, how did last night go? Uh, it didn't. What, you didn't bring Langston home to meet the parents? Nope. She blew you off? No, something came up. What, with your parents? No, man, this is bad. Uh, Langston's parents, they died in a car accident yesterday. Are the pancakes done yet? Not yet. Okay, um, so I, um, have a brilliant idea. And what's that, sweetheart? Langston should live with us. I, I never said anything about staying here permanently. Oh, please, Langston, it's a no-brainer. Well, I think there are other things to consider here. Like what? Yeah, like what? You guys really have to be here until the FBI tells us otherwise. That's it. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Come on, say something for the camera. No, Michael, I'm not even dressed. Turn it off. You look gorgeous. <sighs> Give Daddy a smile. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. Look, just... Marcy, look, I know what you've been through. And, I, and I've seen you with Michael. And right now, I know you're furious with him. And it sounds like you have every right to be. But I know you love him. Now, are you really ready to just throw your marriage away? Because if you walk out that door, that's what you'll be doing. I can't go back to him, Ronnie. I can't. And I will not hand my son over to Todd Manning. It's me! Long time no see, buddy. I'm here to pick up my son. No problem, Mom. I really don't understand. We have plenty of rooms here. It's okay. You and your family have been really good to me, and I don't want to push it. And I've been making it fine on my own for a while now. Plus, you guys have so much to worry about with the baby and everything. Is, is that coffee? Could I have some? Oh, make yourself at home. Literally. Langston. No. It's okay. I, I totally understand with Mrs. McBain and Tommy, Mr. Manning's son. You guys must be so worried. You don't need to worry about another kid right Langston, now. Langston, Langston, stop it. That is not what we mean at all. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to, all right? What I'm talking about is there are legal aspects that you're going to have to deal with, that's all. Mom, what are you talking about? Legal aspects? I don't understand wh why that matters. Well, it matters, sweetheart. It's Langston's parents may have left a will that states who they would like to be their legal guardian. And, well, your father and I set that up for you and Jack. I, I don't know if my parents left a will. I'm going to have my lawyers look into it for you because while you are here, I'm going to personally see to it that all of your needs are met. While you are here sounds pretty temporary, don't you think? Star, it's OK. No, it's not OK. What if there aren't any guardians? What happens to Langston then? Her parents, they're dead. What are... How's Langston doing? I don't know. You know, she started crying when she told me, but I couldn't really get her to talk about it. How'd they die? Uh, car crash, I think. Were you there when she found out? No, but Star's Aunt Dorian was. Yeah, she was all over it when I got there. She kind of shoved me out of the way and said she was going to take Langston home with her. Did you try calling Langston? Yeah, but she's not answering. I tried texting her too, but I'm not getting anything. You know, it's not like I know what to say or anything, but I'm just, I'm really worried about her. I mean, how is she going to handle something like this? Oh, tell me. What is it? What's the news? Is it good? I'm transferring. This semester? 
tell me it's at the end of the year. No, next week. Oh, God. Where are you going? Wakefield Academy in Massachusetts. A boarding school? That is such no, a... No, it's better. My parents want me to be in a better environment. They think I'm getting distracted here, and I kind of am. But Massachusetts, that's like so... No, it's not that far. And it's only like this far on the map. Plus, it's such a better class of people up there. I mean, it's not like this steaming heap. But everyone's gonna miss you so much. Not everyone. But I've got a couple more days and I'm gonna make them count. What are you going to do? Believe me, when I walk out of this school for the last time, I'm going to give everyone something to remember me by. Michael Trex, let me in. Michael, we're so sorry. I, I can't believe any of this. Yeah, neither can I. I thought you guys were the press. Come on in. Roxy's downstairs keeping them away. Well, you can, uh, let me thank her for me. I will. So how's everything going? Any word from Marcy? No. I'm pretty sure she understands that the phones are being tapped. Is there anything we can do? Not unless you can bring Marcy and Tommy back. Dr. McVeigh, can we have a minute? Marcy's got to come to her senses. It's worse for her if the police find her, right? Not as bad as it'll be if Todd finds her. Well, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Yeah. The cops may have bought your story last night, but I didn't. I know you're in here somewhere, Marcy. Well, listen, the police did more than buy my story. They actually searched the place. They didn't find Marcy or her son. But my son. Whatever, okay? Bottom line is, she's not here, dude. Bottom line, dude, is that I'm not gonna go anywhere until I see that for myself. So how's Todd dealing with this? Oh, Todd, man, that guy's something else, you know? He doesn't care what all this is doing to my wife. He doesn't give a damn what happens to my wife so long as he gets his son back. At least the police, you know? If they bring her in, they'll bring her in safe. Bo will do the right thing. He'll make sure no one gets hurt. I hope so. Uh, John, he's talking to a buddy of his that works at the FBI, you know? I mean, we're hoping maybe he can help us find Marcy without getting the Bureau officially involved because this becomes a federal case. Marcy's gonna be doing some time. That's not gonna happen, okay? Look, I know Marcy will come to her senses. Right now, she's scared. She probably feels all alone, but sooner or later, she's gonna realize that she's not alone. All she cares about is holding on to Tommy. That's what she told me last night. That was last night. Maybe this morning she realizes that the only way to get through this is to go through it with you. Pretty sure she doesn't feel that way anymore. What are you talking about? <sighs> she found out. She found out that I knew the truth about Todd being Tommy's biological father. How? Lindsay told her. Hmm? She told me she's never going to forgive me for not telling her the truth, so... No matter what happens with Tommy and Marcy, I've lost my wife. I haven't seen or heard from my sister in weeks, okay? Well, you wouldn't mind me coming in and having a little look see -through. Yeah, I think I would mind. This is my home, okay? And I don't want you coming in here and tossing my place looking for her. I'm sorry about your son, okay? Okay. I thought maybe you'd do this the easy way, Ronnie. I guess not. The bad thing. How are you talking about? Just go! Oh, jeez! Uh. 